Hello everybody, how is it going out there? Uh, my name is Trojan Dude 12 and I'm here with... I'm Rue, but I also go by Cutie Rue. And we're gonna, we have the special pleasure of bringing you this awesome indie game sequel called Cat Quest 2. Uh, it's made by General, uh, General Bros Studio, um, really awesome developers. And uh, we're really excited to show this off because this sequel really added on a lot to what the original game uh, brought. And we're going to be using a combination of magic and physical damage to uh, go through fights fairly quickly throughout. And we're going to be uh, doing some really cool, uh, some high-level dungeons at, you know, way earlier than we should be doing. So. Yeah, and it's one of the few games that you can do co-op together in the same room, uh, local co-op. So on that note, uh, once we hit this override button, the countdown, um, the count begins. So three, two. two one go okay so the idea behind cat quest 2 is that like he mentioned earlier we're gonna go through these high level dungeons but the idea is we're super under leveled the whole entire time yeah and we're gonna make up with that uh with the armor uh so once we get this armor uh at the not this dungeon but the next dungeon afterward this is just kind of a little tutorial dungeon and we'll explain more about the high level armor. But for right now, uh, we're going to be splitting up as much as possible and, and grouping up uh, in certain spots to make fights go faster. So we're getting these two uh, magic abilities called Flame Purr, which is your fire magic. It's an AoE one. And then uh, Freeze Paw, which is your ice magic and slows and does it in a vertical line. And that's very important with how we're going to stack up some of the um, the various minions that we come across. Yeah, so right now we're kind of going through the tutorial. Uh, you have to go through at least some of this, but ideally we're going to be pretty much rolling away and avoiding um, all the enemies that we can. So right now in the beginning we're like level 2. We're not even 2 yet. Yeah. Uh, but basically, we're gonna go to a level like 99 dungeon. 99 dungeon. Because <laughs> we're trying to get two armor sets that are gonna help us for the rest of the game. Now, I'm the dog and he's the cat. And we have two incentives going on. Do you wanna explain? Yeah, that? so the incentives that we have going on is um, there's a dog messenger that's uh, we're going to come across later uh, in the game, like closer to the middle of the run and we're gonna either save or kill it. And at the end, we get to choose uh, who gets to swing the, the final uh, King's Blade. Uh, and that's like right at the end of the run with the final boss. So right here, we're gonna be kind of focusing a little bit because of this area is super hard and high. And the way that we have to do it is we're gonna have to like gather all these enemies and like dodge all this. Okay, ready? Go. So, because the idea is um, when you're near the enemies, you aggro them. And when you aggro them, they won't let you, like, collect anything for that time being. Okay, so over here. So we might concentrate just for a little bit. Ready? Yeah. Oh, you did it. Oh, I died. Okay. Okay. So this isn't going too well. Uh, if we just got it like that first time, that would have been perfect. But, um, ah, oh dog. no. Okay, well, let's get the nervous trigger to yeah. out. <laughs> okay, so basically game over is not too bad. Uh, we just have to kind of do that at least all to the point where we just have to get that uh, last part. If we could have just get it that one time, that would have been perfect, yeah. but. Unfortunately, the aggro range just didn't quite let go of Trojan. Yeah, and we already got the one piece of, so we don't have to go do that one again. So let me do this. Uh, yeah. We need to do this together. Yeah. So go over here to the left, and we need to go way more left. You need this, dude. Yeah. Okay, so let's, why is this one not aggroing? Okay, there you go. So go to the way to the left. Come here. Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. Go. There you go. There so go. that's what's supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, things happen and stuff occurs. That's pretty much the best way to explain that. Um, so here... Oh, oh no. we aggro. Oh, that's we're fine. fine. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to be going through the main quest line. Um, so 
Right now, we're level two. Oh, and north, 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 north. Yeah. We basically, I will be equipping the armor that we just got, but we're just waiting to, um, I'm gonna equip it in here. Okay. I don't know, okay, there we go. And that was it. Yeah. Okay, so right here, we're gonna have this little, oh. Oh, sorry, there you go. And we're getting it since uh, she's gonna be the one that's doing all the magic here at the start of the game. Uh, we're giving her both pieces of magic. For various, there's times where we wanna do AoE, sometimes we wanna do vertical stacking. So basically, th uh, throughout this kingdom, there's these runes that we do, but um, you're not gonna see, this is like the only one that we're gonna do and that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna go up and you go down? Yep. Okay, so with co-op, what's cool about co-op is that there's certain points of the game where you have to be together, and there's certain points of the game where you don't have to be together. Yep. So, like that, for example. Yeah, and uh, the item that we just went there to get, on top of getting a couple levels, is uh, something called the Ranger Axe, and... Um, she, again, is going to equip it as well, so we're just kind of buffing her up a ton at the start of the game and I'll, I'll catch up a little bit later but for now um, I'm just with the basic items at the moment he will be for like mm, how long it's about 25% of the run yeah exactly so, so in right here, here we're gonna concentrate just a little bit we're gonna be going through uh, this is the hidden stash of XP and um, of XP and go gold. You go right. Uh, he's aggroed. Yeah, that's fine. Oh my, I'm dead. Oh, Hold geez. on, just let me. Oh, yeah, there you go. I'm fine. Uh, that was fun. Off camera, okay, this guy does not want to let go. This is really weird. Okay, hold on. There you go. Now go ahead. I don't know what happened there. Um, normally you could split and yeah. you're fine. Okay. So the reason why we're doing this whole dungeon right here is because of the fact, okay, so I'm gonna go right, and then you're gonna stay. Yeah. So let's get out of the aggro range. There you go. Hey, look at that. Woohoo! Okay. All right, so I'm gonna come back, and then you go to the left, and then I'll right, you right can here. Go, yeah. So we can do this because we're kind of manipulating the camera. Yeah. You can stay right there. No, I have to go around. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. No, you I'm, don't. I'm, I'm... Oh, never mind. Just kidding. Joking. Uh, uh, okay. This is why you have a good partner. <laughs> uh, okay, now you go over there and I'll stay yeah. right here. So there we go. Yeah, so also when you're in combat, you're not allowed to open up any chests. And you probably may have figured that out already, but that's why we have to be very careful about uh, where we are. So all your XP and stuff uh, gets saved. So we're going to uh, do a return save and uh, quit and reload so that we're right back to where it thinks our last quest save point was, essentially. Um, What's up with the there aggro ranges right now? This is I like know. really weird. Yeah. So now we're back on the main storyline and now we're level 15. So we are way higher level than we should be. Right now we should be about at level about like three or four. So we're not gonna be able, we're not gonna be taking like almost any damage. And with her armor right now, having about a hundred armor takes literally one damage every single time. So right here uh, with that in mind, uh, she's we're gonna go together to this one that's up here on the left. And then from there, uh, she's going to continue forward and I'm going to uh, get this little chest on the left and then just kind of chill while she does that up there. Yeah, and so because I'm so uh, uh, overpowered, um, basically I can tank these like that and mm. then we're done. Pretty simple stuff. Yep. It's kind of fun though. Uh, it's a fun little RPG. That's what I love about this little game. Um, yeah. I remember finding Cat Quest and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so awesome. Um, I love indie games, so definitely fit it, uh, fits right up my alley. And then plus, like, in Cat Quest, you get a cat and a dog. Yep. 
So now the storyline, you're kind of like, well, what's going on? Well, it's basically the setup to trying to get like everything going. Um, so right now we're just kind of trying to like, you know, breeze past all this so that like it teaches you about armor and upgrading and then it teaches you about magic and upgrading too. Yeah, and uh, Kit Kat was actually in the first game. Um, and these arcane mages as well. So most of the stuff that is unique to the second game is going to be coming up after we're outside of the, the cat kingdom and inside of the dog kingdom. So first like freaking out like, wait, why is there a dog here? And the cat king's like, no, no, it's cool. It's my friend. <laughs> yeah, so we're all friends here. Cats and dogs. Um, so we're going to do one. And then I need max to do one. max. So the idea for me is I'm Don't trying check. to level up my magic right now. So we're mm -hmm. trying to balance out the magic and the physical damage that we're mm -hmm. outputting. Yeah. Because different enemies are weak to magic and mm -hmm. uh, the physical output. And we just got our first staff right there. And so, um, so being a mage and a warrior is kind of a little different in this RPG. Instead of it, depending on what kind of armor you're wearing, um, it's based on what you have equipped. So if you have a ranged staff, you are technically considered a mage, and it ha it cuts your health in half, but you have the ability to do range damage. Um, so we're only going to be equipping um, uh, staves at w on one fight, which is one of the, the final boss rushes, essentially. Every other time, we want to keep our health up as much as possible, plus physical damage is actually better with your melee weapon and you can do all your magic with things like flame purr and freeze paw yeah <clears throat> i love all the names to this game like if you look at kit kat the cat to pull or cat pitol uh it's just i don't know i, I love the this game overall um it's really cool too because uh being able to play with the second person you kind of mm -hmm. get to uh, just like explore the whole magic physical elements of the game. Yeah. So I'm gonna go down here. Yeah, so we're trying to figure out where the pretty much the person who took over the Cat Kingdom Lioner is at. And so this is the first time we kind of meet him and his jesters, and we have to beat up his jester people um, really quickly. Not to that. There you go. There we go. <laughs> and then. Uh, Liner is actually resistant to everything, so this is just a timed battle. Um, and this is actually a good point where we can do a couple donations if there's any. Well, donations are currently a little bit slow, but I would like to remind you, uh, the bit war for save or kill the dog messenger is coming up pretty soon, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, probably in about 10 minutes. Yeah, so get some donations in if you want to kill or save the messenger because right now it's five on five i don't know what happens then uh, <laughs> i guess one of us walks around and then secretly like ninja ninjas in the back i don't know I... <laughs> <laughs> we become a ninja dog well yeah. so let's let's not give it the chance let's have it a definitive decision so donate towards that and later on of course who gets the last hit the dog or the cat. I'm a cat person, I would vote for the cat, but currently the dog is in the lead with $31. All right, so we just went through our first quote unquote boss fight in, in a way. Uh, yeah, I'll collect. I'll go get. Yep. So that was the first boss fight. He had a shield around him and we couldn't do anything really until that shield was off. Yeah. And then we just melted him. There's uh, so one of the things you might got, it's a really super minor glitch. It's uh, the way to best describe it as a rolling glitch. Um, sometimes if you're close enough to where the next quest like prompted like quest area is, if you roll uh, at a very particular like frame or moment, it'll actually let you roll closer to the person. Sorry, I love doing that. What did that gopher ever do? Or what did gopher, badger, hedgehog, whatever they did to you? <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, I have a cat myself. So anyone, I mean, my cat's name is Yoshi, but basically I'm all about the cat. So have the cat, you know, uh, win the king's blade. I, I definitely am all for the cat side, but I do like dogs too. Okay, right here we need to 
how yeah. do them all come together? There you go. And boom, there you go. And that's where the vertical lining up actually really helps a lot. So um, right here, basically we're doing an escort quest. Um, Kit Kat is trying to show us around the cat kingdom. Uh, cat face outlook, sorry. Um, so, oh, and uh, we have these markers called king markers. Yeah. Basically what they do is they kind of help you teleport faster throughout the kingdoms. Um, mm -hmm. We will utilize those for routing purposes. Okay. So right now we do have to face Kit Kat. Yeah, and see, you can you just saw it right there, a little roller glitch. So now, oh, unfortunately you didn't have any mana, but I still hit her like yeah. that. Yeah, but anyway, you, we'll be taking advantage of that at a few points during the run. And so now uh, she gave us the key to the first set of major ruins called King Leonardo Ruin. King Leonardo is from the first game. Don't want to say more than that because we don't want to spoil it in case anybody wants to play the first game. <clears throat> Uh, and then we're just gonna head straight on over there. Uh, and this is the first one where it's like, there's actually like a puzzle going on inside of the room that we have to figure out how to interpret. Oh, and another thing, my gear makes me go way faster than him. Yeah. Um, up until a certain point, but basically I have a, that's the reason why I'm rolling so much faster yeah. than he is. Yeah, it's, the, it's something called the Ranger set. So there's like a vest, a cap, and a um, axe and I'm just gaining mana for that yep. and then we'll do this yep. and then so here we're gonna split up really quickly she's gonna worry about killing this thing right here I'm gonna get this thing called the ninja katana this is a fixed one that you always get and I'm gonna equip it immediately because it's better than what I currently have it gives me five melee which is pretty uh, good at this point uh, of the run, but it has crit chance of 20%, which when we start upgrading this weapon makes a huge difference. And so Flame Pearl unfortunately doesn't really work against this boss. And there you go. So, done. You want to collect? Yep. Okay. Okay. So, do you want to explain the fixed chest versus the RNG chest? Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, there's a lot of chests in, you know, in these types of ruins or other dungeons um, that are fixed. Uh, and that means they'll always have the same thing every single time. So, things like the Ninja Katana, um, that Ranger Act that we got in the King December runes, that first one that we did early on to get a first couple levels. And there's a couple that have RNG, um, just like that level 99 dungeon, where you'll either get a crown and a vest, or you'll get an upgrade of one or the other. Um, every set of chests, now we're going north, uh, every set of chests uh, is like the, where you get XP and um, gold is always fixed. So in here is another one of the random RNG ones that we're gonna do. We're um, trying to gather up all the enemies. Yeah. And sorry I'm not talking too much and I have him talk a lot. It's just, yeah. I'm trying to uh, make sure I'm tanking properly so that we're not trying to uh, waste the time. Um, the reason why we're killing all these enemies in here is because we're trying to get what's inside this chest. Now yeah. there's these chests that are called monster chests. Mm -hmm. Now you will only get them once you be defeat oh. all the monsters. I got an upgrade for my yes, Ninja Katana. That's the yes, best RNG <laughs> ever. Sorry. Sweet. Uh, you might want to explain that. Yeah. One. So uh, again, uh, equip and then Berserk. equip Berserk. Um, we'll get to Berserk in a second. Uh, but yeah, so that's your first one, a variable one. You can get like a Ranger vest there. You can get like a Ninja hood, which gives you uh, um, a hat that gives you additional um, armor. Uh, or sorry, melee and crit chance. And then down with this, that one, yeah. Um, and then, uh, or you can get this Ninja Katana uh, upgrade, which is better because it it gives more. Um, Hello. More. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Thought I was a yeah. cat for a second. And then the other thing we got in that cave is this uh, spell called Berserk, and that is a melee buff. Uh, it's ba it's pretty much. At base level, it buffs uh, all your melee attacks by 50%, and that's going to be super good for a lot of boss fights, because there's only one boss fight against laner where melee does absolutely nothing for you, but every other fight it is incredibly useful. 
All right, now's a good time to read any donations, um, if there are any. Let me check. Uh, sadly, not still waiting. Still Aww. waiting for a definitive decision on the bid war. Come okay, on, okay. people. Yeah, but, I mean, and we have the bid war. It's going to be closing pretty soon. Um, yeah. Probably in another five, five six minutes. minutes. Yeah. yeah. I think we're getting. Because once we. Uh, it's one of the ones in the dog kingdom. And, and we uh, got to save the messenger, and the messenger is a dog. So all the dog lovers. Come on, people. You heard her. Also, we are very, very close to five and a half thousand dollars. If we can reach that during this run, that would be amazing. Yeah. So. We got this. Consider donating. Oh, oh God. And that. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so okay. down. Go down. Yeah. So this one, um, there's two aspects to this second fight against Leonor and the Jesters. So we ne still need to kill the Jesters. Uh, Sorry. I'm trying to help him because when I'm doing this... Um, yeah, be careful. Uh, yeah, I'm down. Alright. These guys okay. don't hit hard. It's this dude that does. Yeah. So, the idea is you're trying to attack this guy while you're going down because it's not a time segment. It's just literally a follow the red dotted line segment. Yeah, so you know what's stronger than magic is red lines. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's a secret to this kingdom, to this universe. So basically, um, we're just following Kit Kat. She's taking us to the um, Lupus Kingdom. I always want to call it Lupon because of Lupon the Third, mm. but um, the Lupus Kingdom is where all the dogs are at. So now we're gonna go to this uh, whole area that's just like. Like, there's more quests, there's, like, a lot more to this universe than just the Cat Kingdom. And then we're grabbing this King's Marker again, uh, cause we're gonna need to use this to teleport, uh, at one of the later quests in this area. And then... Yeah, see, I'm rolling so much faster than you. Yeah, don't worry, I'll, I'll catch up eventually. Probably in about another 15-20 minutes or so. So we're trying to meet up with this, uh... Pretty much the, the same type of like weapon armor person uh, like Kit Kat, but the dog version. And his name is one of the best names in the game, and as Hato Doggo. He's like one of my favorite characters mm -hmm. because you, if you look at his hut, he literally has a samurai sword on the side of the hut. Yeah, it's so cool. I love him. Uh, now we're just kind of going through. It's part of the main quest line, but um, we basically need to get this dog their bone, and we have to go inside mm -hmm. the cave to do it, the rough yeah. cave. Um, Otherwise, we would have to pay one million gold, and we have nowhere near that. Yeah, so. we're, we're very broke, and we need as much gold. Oh. We're not having a good time with the RNG on Yeah, these. the aggro is... You guys are being a pain. Yeah. So I'm going to just go straight ahead. Yep, go for it. Okay. So I can do things just be like more careless because I have high everything. So I'm gonna get these enemies and then go. Oh no, <sighs> oh no, the aggro on this. All right, this just, just pull them way up to the top. Okay, and go now. Yeah, I don't have the mana. Do they just roll? Yeah, always freaks me yeah. out when they roll. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Cause they, okay, so beforehand they didn't roll. So when they do roll, it's like really weird. Um, so now we got the oh, yeah, bone. Sorry. Yeah. And then- And then we go back up north. Now yeah. that we have the dog biscuits and we're gonna give the dog biscuits to the uh, soldiers because then they're gonna think it's time to chow down and have break time. Yeah. So right now in the storyline, what's happening is that we got these shards to power up. As you notice, sometimes we have powered up um, our rolls, so you'll see like enemies get damaged by our rolls. That's a new feature in Cat Quest 2. They didn't have that in Cat Quest. Yeah. Now, oh, the spikes. Uh, uh, let's go to the left, left since the... we're having a bad time on aggro. Oh, come on, please don't. There you go. Okay, all right, we're Those good. Those cactus are the worst on aggro, like legit. They just kind of run wherever they, they please and then they're super hard to get rid of. Okay, so for this fight, I just need to flame her, I think. Yeah. We'll line them up. Okay, so right now we're gonna have a fight with the dogs. Oh, 
There you go. There. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that just. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes we get confused on which one we are because everything's going on at the same time. Yeah. Right. Then, it kind of. Uh, watch out for that cat. Oh, jeez. Yeah. No. Okay. Go down. Uh, and then go around to the right. Yeah. There you go. Okay, we're good now. See exactly uh, that they can just kind of randomly be there. So this is Hato Doggo. And he's got a wind attack at the start that where we can't attack him, so we're gonna have to just kind of stall for a second. And the problem is we can't attack him inside that wind. We can't like damage boost. Here, let's see if we can try to kill him. No. Can I? I'm hitting him when he. I did that though. Okay. So now, the idea that I'm trying to do is I'm trying to tank at the appropriate times so that when we timely level mm -hmm. up, I don't have to spend the time worrying about like healing and stuff like that. Yeah. And, and we will ignore this king marker. We don't need it. Yeah, we don't need it at any point. We got that other one earlier and they're about the same distance, so we don't need to worry about it. That cactus really wanted to be our friend. Yeah. So here's where we're gonna, so Hotodago is the opposite of what Kit Kat, who is an armor smith, uh, Hotodago is a weapon smith. So we're gonna upgrade the katana right here with the amount of gold that we have so that I can start doing a little bit more damage. Okay. All right, and there we go. So basically in this, um, we're coming up to, I would say, we're um, now going to go back. The storyline uh, is basically the idea is we got these shards, and so we're trying to save the cat and dog kingdom from uh, the two kings that are ruling it right now. So, so we left. gotta go to the left. Yeah. So you kind of have to loop around because you want to avoid as many cactuses as possible, or cacti. That's proper and plural. And rolling in <laughs> this game is pretty hard. Good job. He always gets hit there. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> thanks for ratting me out. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm a dog. I should be loyal. Uh, <laughs> um, right. So basically, we're going to go through another trial. Uh, in this trial, though, we wanted to upgrade the katana because against Wolfen, physical attacks are the strongest. Yeah. Magical attacks, though, are the weakest. So she's gonna take care of those that are up there. And then, perfect, oh, perfect. So you're kind of closer anyway. So we're gonna open up the first portal right here and then we have to go left and right um, from this to order to open up the path to Wolfen. Uh, and so um, what is the bid war looking at right now? Oh, well, we had a few donations coming in. Oh, so cool. the bid war is a a little bit changed. Okay. First of all, from Matthew St. Louis, $33, $33 saying dogs are bad. Okay, well, I don't agree fully. I might be a cat person, but dogs are great. <laughs> and, well, and $32 go towards uh, the King's Bane cat incentive, and $1 towards kill the messenger. But 2C Plus donates $10 with the message, Hey, you ruined Troden. Happy hey. to see you guys in this marathon playing this great game. Good luck. Hashtag save the dog messenger. And those $10 go towards saving the messenger. All right. So yes. we are going to be saving the messenger. All right. So on the last count, $15 for save the messenger and six for kill the messenger. So we are saving him. All Yay. right. Awesome. So yeah, so this is the Wolf in One fight. Um, so he does a lot of big yeah. damage with his magic. So we're gonna do Berserk and try uh, and kill him as fast as possible. I'm gonna tank it. Okay. She can tank it. Can't tank that one. Yeah, I can't tank that one. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go. There you go. Nice. Very good. Okay. Okay, you collect. Yeah. Um. So Ooh. actually, saving the messenger is a lot harder. Yeah. Uh, let's just go Because you have here. the world of power rolling. So, so yeah, roll. this is a messenger that we're gonna save. Isn't he cute? Just don't rough me up. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go over here. 
<laughs> Bye, dog messenger. <laughs> you do a time loss for that. I, no, because I have legit, like, it's easier to kill that messenger because one hit, it doesn't matter what it is, the, the messenger goes down. It's really sad. So oh. it's oh. actually harder to keep the messenger alive. Oddly yeah. enough. Yep. So, yeah, we saved the messenger. We saved the dog. Woohoo! I'm all for that. All right. So now Hato Doggo uses ninja skills to get us out of there. And, uh,. Now we are going to uh, continue onward with the main quest. And so now uh, we have, uh, you know, all of the shards at this point. And now um, we're going to have them uh, meet together um, at a little bit. But first we have to figure out what, what's going on with, like, the actual the looper stone. Oh, you got it, aggro. Yeah. yeah sorry. It's okay. No. Uh, so we, uh, that guy, those guys can kill you. Cause now we're actually getting to the midway point of the game. Yeah. And now the enemies are actually starting to catch up or even become higher than us. Cause yeah. from this point onward, I think we're going to be severely underleveled. Yeah. So like once we eventually get to the final boss, we'll be at like level, I think it's like 63 or 64 and the final boss will be at 80. So <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so at this point we're going to focus just a little bit because these guys do hit hard and we want to make sure we don't aggro them. And I'm trying to time this so that Trojan has a better time because he doesn't have the roll. Okay. Okay, that's what we're trying to avoid. All right, we're good. Okay, you're good. Should be fine now. Okay, yeah, yeah you're fine. You can go. You're good. I, just, I only ran into a cactus. It's fine. The cactus <laughs> is better than the other stuff. I'll tell you that right yeah, now. Yeah. So now here, we're going to go down and grab the king's marker that's down here because we're going to need it when we come back for the wolf and two fight. And so it's super important that or we, for the final wolf and we fight, get this. Uh, it is out of our way, but it's beneficial for the overall rounding purposes because mm -hmm. ideally we're trying to, you know, cut as much time as we can. And then um, we're going to upgrade our uh, katana a tiny bit more. Uh, with the remaining gold that we have, uh, that we've just got. So I can catch up as much as I can with, with, uh, damage. Yeah, because right now, I mean, he's not going to be wearing armor until, like, later. And even then, not, oh, 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 I'll go to the left, I'll go to the left, I'll go to the left. I didn't mean to spawn him. We're trying to sneak. The fastest way to do that was to sneak, but... Yeah. Okay, so remember the plan? Yep. Uh, you go up, and then you I'll just... You the main guy, I'll do the clones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if Wolfen's going to spawn clones of himself, then he's going to swap out the types of attacks that he does. Oh, I have the other clone. Okay, that's fine. I'll kill this one and grab the other one in a second. I already killed the first one. Okay. There you, you go. Come. Ah, sweet. I can attack. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to tank a little bit. I'm gonna take that one too for myself. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm done after that. Um, I'll roll. Just do it. All right, Got that it. was actually a really great fight. That's so with Wolfen, he's one of the harder characters simply because uh, you have to use so much attack. And right now, I'm actually weak on my magic versus him, where he's strong with his physical. Yeah. So, uh, you'll see a major difference right now, but mm -hmm. then I'll catch up once we go to Lino. Liner. Liner, yeah. I always say Lino. Yeah, because we're, uh, the next really super high level dungeon, uh, that we're gonna go to is coming up here, uh, fairly shortly. Um, where that one's a level 200 dungeon. And you'll see that. why in a second. Uh, it's kind of weird, but. So right here? To the third. Okay, so right now, so this is kind of an odd thing that we're doing, and it is part of the main storyline. Oh, whoops. Whoops. A little uh, premature there. We were, we were too happy. We were to supposed see. to do that. And then we're very we're happy to see Kit Kat and Hot Doggo, apparently. Yes. Have the cats and dog join voices. Voice, forces, not voices. Forces. I mean, um, they can join in song if they want to. <laughs> <laughs> cats and dog. You know, it would be interesting to hear that. Yeah. Um... So now 
I know this is kind of weird, but this isn't a main storyline quest. We're, um, oh. Hey, he didn't even aggro. Wow. Uh, I got up in okay. his grill, too. Okay, sure. And he did not We'll take that. Aggro. Okay, so. So this. We might focus a little bit right yeah. here. Only because this is a higher level dungeon. There you go. I just took a lot of damage. I know. Um, That's fine. Let me. Do you have enough damage to do the damage boost? No. Okay. Well, you might want to die, and then. Um, you know what I mean? I'll just go that route. Okay. So, like, die right here on purpose, I think. Whoa. No, not right here. Oof. Sorry. This is why we have to kind of focus, only because these enemies, like, yeah. they randomly. Let's just go around. I, we don't have enough health. I do. Or. Well, I I don't. You go around. <laughs> Might as well just grab this since we're here. Oh, uh, okay. Just for later. We normally would skip that if we had health, but it only helps a tiny bit later on. Backup strat? Backup strats. Um, and then since we don't have enough health, we can't go through the purning forest. That's the most optimizing way. Yeah. That, dude, the... The aggro range has been really weird. That one guy didn't even care at all. Yeah. He was just like, hey, what's up, man? There's other runs where it's like, oh, you're, you know, saying hi to me from like a million meters away. I don't, yeah. Okay. So right now, Trojan is going to start catching up with me on the rolls here pretty soon. We're going to get armor to do that. Yep. So now at this point <laughs> of the game, uh, you can't really see what the storyline's going on, but what we're trying to do is we're trying to get across to that island well in order to get across how do you think we're gonna do it we're gonna have to walk on water you gave the answer way too soon <laughs> they saw it right there <laughs> by like three seconds okay <laughs> so right now we're trying to get water walking um basically we're gonna do what it exactly says uh we have to collect these pages mm-hmm um, let me attack these guys. Alright. So, nope. if there's any more uh, donations, is a good time to to talk. That was weird. Well, so far, nothing coming in, but we still have time. And also, in all the excitement, I forgot to mention, we smashed the $5,500 mark. Woo! So thank you very much for that. Yes! Woo! And maybe you can get it even higher. 5600 maybe even 6000 Come on, guys. For the cats and dogs, you can do it. Or a more humble goal. Get the sub points. Uh, up to 450 during this run, maybe. Because, as you know, every sub gets doubled by our sponsor HyperX until 800. Indeed. So, subscribe now and it gets and uh, counts twice towards our cause. But not just that, you can also gift some subs, Twitch Prime, everything counts, every little bit. And if you are hitting hard times, just tell your friends, your family to watch ESA together, enjoy a speedrun together. Maybe it's some game from their childhood, or maybe this cute game, so that when those trying times are over, you can get together, play together, enjoy some comfy time with a cat and a dog. Thank you very much. Yeah, exactly. It's fun to play together, just like, and you can do the speedrun too. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Exactly. So on this note, we are trying to um, basically get out of the cave, make sure that we're not going to die. But we're not too worried because this cave's not that scary. But now we're talking to this dude, the governor. He's in the first game too. Um, we can equip this later. Well, because I'm going to equip yours, yeah. so don't need to worry about it quite yet. So now we're going to have to go and get, talk to the governor and get the water walking ability. Yeah. So don't want to spoil too much because this next part is a minor spoiler from the first game but uh you're not gonna know but we're gonna meet the the first governor of the town 
And that's the person who's going to eventually give us water walking. And first, we're going to have to go to this other uh, uh, portal area and do a couple trials to prove our worth. And we're going to run into one of these big dudes with the shield again. He's way stronger than last time. So right now, we're just trying to take out the ads. I mean, ideally, we would put them all in the little circle and... But he has that shield on him. I'm just gonna tank it. So, like, right now, I tank. Okay, and then I'm done tanking after that. So, we're just waiting for the shield. Ooh. Good job. So, I'll roll up ahead. Okay, sounds good. So... We, now we're gonna have to go to, oh yeah, both players. Yeah, but I had to soak up that XP because we're gonna get another level up here pretty shortly. And we wanna try and hit him closer to the top part. Oh, oh. you got it, you got it, you got it, your friend. And preserve when I become alive. This is not supposed to happen. I took way too much damage from the first type. Berserk, where's my Berserk? I was out of mana. <laughs> I miss my Berserk. I want to Berserk everything. Berserk? Okay, so the ability Berserk, I think we didn't explain this before. Oh, we're barely just under the level. It's fine. Um, yeah, so that buff up in melee damage, that 50% increase, really makes a big difference in these types of like fights. Because <clears throat> we were able to do that big, uh, big boss in two cycles once we uh, got rid of all the adds. Okay, go to the right. Yep. So here, now we got we got water walking. We can actually get access to that level 200 dungeon that we talked about earlier. So we're gonna head over to our little king's marker. Here, collect these. Oh, <laughs> okay. still, that's a nope. Okay, so. And then we're going over here to this lonely cave. And you say, why is this level 200? And there's nothing in here. Well, there's one big hedgehog that's level 200. <laughs> and one hit will, yeah, definitely kill you. Um, Three, so I'm gonna two, figure one, go. go. Then so, you're right. yeah. Why we go in here is for these. Now, these babies are amazing. Because as you can tell, you get attack and magic. And then we're gonna return a title because it, it recognizes that you already looted these chests. And we're right back to where we need to be for the main story quest line, which is a little bit northwest of us. So. Um, anything cave related does not matter to where the game remembers uh, you needing to be uh, for the actual quest line. But it's you... only specific save points. It's not like that in every single cave, or it's specific cave points. No. And then, yes. yes. And then. Uh, yes. Er. Yes. Yes. Er. And then, yes. Just yes. <laughs> Just yes that. Oh. And yes it one more time. Okay, we're messing up yeah, here. Yeah, we messed up. I think it was two no's and then three. Oh, whatever. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> this is fine. Uh, that we was found a the quick way, oh. but we forgot what the quick way is. We're going to have yeah. to watch that. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Yep. And, and then... then uh, uh, there it is. And then, oh, no, and then I equip the um, this one for the armor. Okay. Oh, I was about to die. <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry. Even though I'm OP. All right, I'll you grab that. You go. Oh my gosh, that was funny. Sorry. So yeah, we got the final shard now. And now we're going to leave. So now we have the final shards. We're going to go right across the pond right here. And we're going to meet our friends. Come on, friendos. Let's do this. Sorry, I'm still laughing over the fact I almost died. Um, and now we're going to get ported back to the Zero Dimension. I don't think we mentioned that this is the Zero Dimension. This actually gets shown in the first game a little bit, um, but this is way more prevalent in this game. Uh, and so we're meeting up with uh, Alias, and we, uh, the guy in the middle right there. And they're with the eye. taking our shards. Um, How dare you? <gasps> That's why they took our shards! How dare them! Just saying. Yeah. So basically, that's us. Yeah. Plot twist. Plot that twist. is us in the future. In a different timeline. In a different timeline. Sorry, string theory. <laughs> yeah. 
So basically, we're fighting against ourselves. Mm hmm. Yep. Big plot twist. And so now that we have to fend for ourselves right here. You go up? Yep. So it only matters about the first person oh, right there. Yeah. This time. <laughs> so, yes! And all that matters is to to be right there for Dark Kiri. So I need to be next to Dark Kiri. So what I did right there is I tagged so I can get closer mm -hmm. to her. Mm -hmm. And then that saves time. That saves time. Yeah. In Even solo, you have to run away by yourself. But in co-op, you can actually split up right there. You just have to know when to split up and when to be together. Okay, so this part uh, we'll focus on a little bit, and yeah. I'm just gonna keep. Yeah, just keep the ranger axe. Keep yeah. the ranger mm -hmm. axe. Okay. So we're gonna go right. So yes. this is like a huge maze, and inside this maze, it's easy to get lost. Um, even though. Uh, I'm fine, but I'm gonna rat you out again. Yeah. He's not. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, now we're gonna fight against the Dark Realm, the Dark Kit Kats, and Hato Doggo. Okay, you got. There. Yeah, we killed Hato Doggo first, which was better. Because Hato Doggo has that wind ability and you can't attack while that's going on, so it's really annoying. So right now, we are level 50, as you notice. So what's cool about this game, it's not about the tricks as much as being under leveled and that's really cool and execution yeah. and execution and that's really cool because i mean i love doing tricks and stuff like that but at the same time it's nice to kind of like be like oh my gosh i have to test my abilities where i need to make sure i'm not gonna die you know and so we're going down left, and then left, to the left yeah. okay so we're good so now we're done with this maze and Roll, please. Oh, um, are hard. Yeah. So now we're done defeating our <clears throat> bad selves, but now we have to kind of get the valor, mercy, and virtue to be on our side. Mm -hmm. So now we're trying to recover what we lost. Yep. That's what's going on with the storyline. And then, oh, I'll go. Because I have more health than you. Okay. So in here, we're going to focus just a tiny bit. Yeah, because we're going to have to bait these. Don't die. I know. Okay, ready? Oh, I have no mana. Go. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. That was not good. Okay. Here, I'll, I'll bait them. Ready? Well, we have to do it together. This one we have to do together. Uh, and go. I got to wait. Oh, you're, they're there. aggro yeah. on you. There you go. There we go. Okay. And so then we have to kill these things that are at the start. Yeah, but I have to wait. Woo! That was kind of close. Uh, no, just that one. Uh, just like, kill them all. Kill them all. You're not supposed to, but this is fine. We're doing things the fine way. All right, let's save. Or I'll take you safe. And then in this one, we don't have to worry too much. Oh no, that's that was fine. not the best, but that's fine. He's still gonna die. Yeah. So, right that's there. That's the only way you can kill them, so. Yeah, you can't kill them with like any normal attack. They only die by spikes. So, this one we have to. I'm gonna do this. Oh, I dead. just took a lot of. Oh, I just took a lot of damage too. Uh, that was not good. Huh. So, basically, that wasn't supposed to happen. I'm not sure what we did. But we did something wrong. I went into spikes. Okay. Well. Oh, oh. There we go. So normally you would just roll past that. Don't get hit. I'm just gonna kill him. This uh, you can start baiting him if you want. Okay. I'm like, what are you doing, dude? Uh, go over here. Come on. Come on, to mama. Come to me. Come to the puppy that's wearing a jester suit. No, do not go away. I'm the sweetest thing you've ever seen. I joke around and say ha ha right, and make go. you laugh and make you cry because <laughs> I just do. All right, so let's just be careful on the way back. Uh, mm. uh, I don't want to be careful with that. Just go, go. Okay, all right. Let the little army come and get you. Let's do a safety save. Uh, we normally don't save, but we did a terrible job in that one, so. 
we'll do that. Right. So now we're getting our first uh, power back and the most important one, at least for mobility, which is water walking. Here, I'll roll away. This is, we just need both of us to be there for that start. No, no, no. Oh, we, <laughs> yeah, we just need to split up like that. Sorry. It's okay. Brain not functioning. Brain went down the drain. I became a jester. <laughs> um, oh, hey, I immediately... Oh, okay, cool. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So we're trying to manipulate the camera again. Yep. This time, now that we have water walking, we could just walk everywhere if we wanted to. Yep. Uh, we're actually now, I think we're getting too close to being done with the game. Yeah. Uh, once we start the bosses, that's pretty much the end of the game. Yeah. From there we don't need now. to close the the King's Blade thing until we get to the final boss or anything like that. But we do have the incentive going on, so if you want the dog or the cat to wear the Keyblade, it's still happening. Hot doggo. Sorry. I love saying hot doggo. Everybody say hot doggo. It rolls off your lips just fine. Okay, so now we're going to upgrade my flame pair. Yeah because math Lamper is super important. Okay. So right now we're kind of getting to the last part of the game. Yeah. So in this storyline, as you know, the plot twist revealed itself saying, oh my goodness, we are fighting against ourselves. Why? <laughs> How did they get corrupted? I, I can't remember why they uh... got corrupted have to actually read the flavor text i it, it pretty much is related to with the fall of the pretty much the the better kings people fought for power and we fought for power and yada yada essentially because so liner is kind of like the king from robin's hood he taxes everything yeah so you tax everything yeah me on the other hand i'm just a dog i don't know why i'm evil i i just i just knew i'm bad and i guess we're not evil per se we're just because he inflicts fear, essentially, into into his, his dogs. Yeah. yeah, his. But I don't know why. Like the cat, I don't know why the progression. They don't. I don't remember. I know they explain it, but they don't. I don't remember it right now. Yeah. So we're just spying on both of their plans right now, and they figure out that they're going to attack each other, and so they're now is the time that we need to strike. And we don't oh, want them to attack each other. We just need to go across. Yeah. So, yeah. So who wants to see a really cool enemy that we're not gonna fight at all? Hi, do. Where are you? Oh, you're right there. <laughs> Hello, Cat Lulu. You're level 100. I'm not gonna mess with you at all. Um, maybe later. But basically, that is like one of my favorite moments of the run. Is saying hi to Cat Lulu. Okay. So now we're kind of getting to the home stretch. Now we have to get our second ability, which is the power up rolling ability. So we have to go to the shrine to that one. Yep. Right now is a good time to read any more uh, donations. Well, so far, it's still going a bit slow. Okay. But it's coming up soon, a bit more. And the cats are leading by just $1. So, if you want to see, if you're a dog person and still want the dog to finish off the game, do that or strengthen the cat. Do it, do it. <laughs> <laughs> and donate towards that. But you can also support us in many other ways. For example, you can buy some nice clothes at our merch store. And I'm seeing Trojan, you are wearing a nice ESA shirt. The 19? Uh, yeah, One. from last year, because we went there yeah. last year, yeah. Yeah, I hope you had a good time. And at Winter Coins, we had an amazing shirt. And you can actually buy that at thespeedrunstore.com. Just go over there, buy some nice threads for you. They also give plus 10 to speedrunning. Trust me, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> instantly PB, instantly PB. Not even, not even asking about it. Yeah, do that. Support us in any way possible, every little bit helps thank you and as you said uh <laughs> i think we're doing pretty well um on time right now yeah um <laughs> if you do if we do get a better time i'm gonna be like the shirt is what did it <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh man all right so now we're getting to the final boss rush right now 
And so we're going to head back to the Cat Kingdom where we're going to fight Liner first. And uh, we're, so against Liner, uh, against the subjects, we can do physical damage and we'll keep our oh, okay. physical damage stuff on during that time. Uh, but then once um, all of them are down, we're going to swap over to um, our staffs because he only takes magic damage. Um, he's completely immune to physical damage in the first phase. Oh, whoops. What's going on? I, we accidentally, I pressed B. Oh. How dare you press <laughs> that B? I know, B. I don't know why B I cancels. pressed B. Yeah. Um, so now we're in the cat realm. We're trying to get to Lion Nar. Okay. Okay. Woo! All right. So what level on that? 57? We're at like 57, yeah. Okay. So right now we're going to kill all the subjects. Yep. And then we're going to kill Lion Art. Now this is like a three phase. Yeah. Well, three. it's it's a like a like a long two phase cuz the minions are technically one phase. True. Okay. Okay, so I killed most of them. Just got that last one. Okay. Okay, uh, wait. Okay, now. Um, uh, so you... Uh, I'll take the lightning, you take the arcane. Yep. I'm gonna damage it. Oh, I... Oh, go, 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 go. I'm fine. Just let me be. I forgot that I had half the health. Will this give us a... Will the XP give us a level up? Like yeah, the, let's yeah. do it. Well, plus in the first phase, he does that, the warp yeah. thing, but you only you can attack it. I can't. We don't have enough. Uh, help me! Uh. You attack it while I'm rolling. Well, I'll, no, I should, I should be, because you have more magic. Okay. Ugh. That was scary. He's on me now. Okay, you continue attack. He's on me. So the, oh, the lightning rod attacks him while he's in this phase, and that's it. Oof. And there, there you go. go. That's Liner. Oh, that was so good. Um, so we're trying to purposely gather everything where he dies, because that's the fastest way to do that. Mm -hmm. All right. You go north. I'll go south. I got okay. One. Yeah. Go. So... Now we defeated you. <laughs> I'm dead? Question mark? <laughs> I don't know. So what happens? Uh, string theory? Question marks? Bioshock comes to mind. Well, the pre-sequel, more so. Uh, spoilers for anyone that didn't play that. Sorry. <laughs> Realization. <laughs> Realization. Um, so now we're going to go into... Uh, the dog kingdom and, and now we're gonna go against hold on i need to yeah. put this back on yeah and i got my katana back and this uh, is where you're gonna should safety save to um just to, to make sure safety saves well to get our health back up safety save uh, and then oh whoop. your katana please i, I would like yeah. a katana upgrade we want to make you super awesome with your ninja katana. Dude, I got six extra than what I normally, so, or four extra than what I normally have. Because you're wearing a, a mage oh, here, robe right and a katana and a... No, no, uh, aren't you going to heal up? Yeah. A, a Robin Hood hat. What is that? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm a fantasy world Robin Hood. <laughs> you're a fantasy world Robin Hood, okay. That's simple. It was just a question. Yeah. I was just curious. Okay, okay, so this fight has three phases, but we have to go through this puzzle first. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead. Oui. Go ahead. Wait, 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 why did that not work? Why? Okay. okay, so we're just gonna, so for this final wolf in fight, he's got his two minions right there, and they all do damage right at the start, so we're gonna just avoid right at the beginning, and then go into them, and then start... Preserving and attacking. Go. We should get a level go. up here. Go, 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 go. Oh boy. 
I gotta be careful. I know. Go. You be careful. I'm sorry I died. I didn't mean to die. Oh! Okay. There you go. Uh, let's just pretend that didn't We leveled happen. up. Okay, we're good. Um... Normally, get a level up earlier in the fight yeah, from but, the clones, but, but we did it. I, I messed so. up. Yeah, it's, it's okay. from the yeah, from the minions. But yeah. it's okay. We've survived. We're everything's fine. <laughs> and so this next part is gonna be super easy. He just spawns a bunch of clones of himself, and the far left one is always the one uh, that is the real person. Yeah, it's never the any other. And he's like the easiest one to kill out of all of them. And then this is the last fight. I'm gonna go collect. So in this fight, everything is doable, but that torpedo warp thing that you see right there. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Uh, wait for him to come this way because yeah. of that. Okay. Melt him. Nice. There you go. Woo! Very nice. And that's what the final Wolfen fight. So now we're kind of getting to the part I'm where... I'm going to go pick up that XP. Okay. Because we right, need good. as much XP as we can. Um, so now we're kind of getting to the point where the bed war for the King's Blade will be done. Yeah. So what would... Uh, who's winning so far? Well, so far, the cat is still winning by one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I love that it's one dollar. Yeah. Come on! How much time do we have left to change that? We've got about 30 seconds. Oh boy. Well, quick, quick, quick. Okay, so now we're kind of getting to the home stretch. So a big black hole just opened up in the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> Pacific. Yeah. And so the reason is we're going back to the zero dimension and we're going to finally fight Alias, the big master of mine behind this all. Oh, and then uh, we need to switch the katana uh, to you. Uh, so you remove. Oh, sorry. There you go. Because uh, what I'm gonna do is, so I'm gonna have maximum rolling distance, and so I'm gonna be baiting around the the little hands. You don't have to kill the hands. You only have to kill the main eye part of Alias in order to defeat the boss. So we're just gonna get them to come away a little bit at the start. Um, okay, and now then... I'm gonna go. Oh. Might to. Jump in, sorry. Yeah. We have put dollars from Gumjaw saying, Hello, your meow disease. I've been ah. sent to tell you that dog should swing the king's blade. Get out there and rough him up. Yes, guess that goes towards the dog. Yes. Thank you very much for your generous donation. All right, yeah, and that, that closes it right now. So. I get to do it! Yes! <laughs> well, that was a snipe and a half. Yeah. Yeah, it was. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, so now pretty much together with the power of friendship, we are going to spawn the King's Blade with all of our shards that we have. And a little cool thing, um, so we figured this out because of some help from the developers, um, that the King's Blade is one of the weapons that actually deals royal damage. Um, and that's very important for certain like bosses in general. Uh, just because they're weak to royal and they're not weak to anything else. So, and there you go. That's the final. That's the final boss alias. And so time is not yet. Uh, we have to first take a selfie with our friends, and then it will be uh, time. Time at that point. What we run? Have a little epilogue. What run do you have where you take a selfie as your end time? <laughs> <laughs> just saying, it's awesome. Yeah. Um, and it helps. Uh, the Cat Quest community has been talking to the developers to uh, get the like overall. Um, inventory of the game you're gonna have to go i'm so yeah. slow got some information so just like slow. how everything goes uh, King, uh, oh King king's Blade, Blade, over there. there oh no you made uh, it before me uh, i didn't know where i was going all right uh good thing you have a partner we remind yeah. each other when we mess yeah. up <laughs> uh so yeah so basically this is the part where we're gonna have a time pretty soon we oh yeah and gumjaw is a runner as well uh, actually has the world record in uh both 100 percent and um any percent hey, hey over here ah, don't ruin my time man all right and so okay. all our friends are together here with us and they're and gonna then we come take together a selfie and, and time, time. Yay! Woo! I wonder what time it is. Ugh. Woo! Shout well, outs to the Cat Quest community. We love you. Yeah. What was uh, you what was the final time? time? Sorry? 
one hour, two minutes, and 43 yes! seconds. That's we got a, a world record! Four minute world record. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Wow. Congratulations! Uh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we just started implementing a lot of the uh, the new solo any percent strats uh, with the katana upgrading, so that's why and, our time's going down. And that's like th thanks to the community. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that's yeah. awesome! Uh, thank you for having us, ESA. We're really, really happy. Uh, it, this is going to a good cause, and we really hope everyone enjoyed it. We love this game. It's a cute little quirky game. Support ESA. They're awesome. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah all of the above. Uh, support everybody. Uh, thank you for the the communities and speedrunning and everyone in general. But we really appreciate um, the time that we did. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yes. And thank you both for being here presenting this game. It was a lot of fun. Just before we go over, we still have we have five dollars from an from anonymous with no message. So thank you for that support as well. I hope you're enjoying it. Next up is Mort the Chicken by Rickelt. Yeah. So the next cute animal coming up. All the animal blog. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, that's the animal blog. <laughs> well, thank you for having all us. All the cute animals. Yes, cute yeah, animals. All the cute So yeah. Mm -hmm. And for you at home, thank you for supporting. Thank you for watching. We are almost. 1300 people watching maybe you can get even more yeah we will see you after the little ad break and the